Why, hello! Good evening! It is I. I hope you're all having a wonderful night tonight. I know I am. <laughs> I just tested negative for COVID today. Woo! But I still have some kind of a viral chest infection. So, uh, as, as, a, uh, as my buddy Jerry used to say when he had the grizzly cub in the back of his car, bear with me. Anywho, it is a wonderful evening. This is Mad Lab with Ratlock, and we have somebody new on here. Somebody I would love to say hello to, besides Master Hooks. Which Master Hooks? Hi. Watermelon Sugar. Hi. Um, but we have Jensky here. Jensky got um, the uh, got her stuff going. That's great, and uh, she's on here for a. Noble and wonderful reason. Hey guys, hey! Oh, that's the. Well, thank you very much, Master Hooks. That is greatly appreciated. That is awesome of you. Thank you very much for the bits. Um, Master Hooks is always an awesome treat to have on the show. And so both of you are here, and that's awesome. There may be more people joining soon. I know, uh, of course, Mama Ratlock, So Not Fun, will be here in a little bit. <clears throat> as well as others, but we have an awesome show tonight. We have uh, some things to do, um, you know, and some things to talk about, and because that's what we like to do. We like to talk and we like to discuss things. Um, it was crazy with last night, Master Hooks. I, lo I loved having Master Hooks come in and let us know about uh, the stuff going on with AEW, uh, seeing that uh, Moxley defeated... Uh, CM Punk to unify the titles. However, I still feel they're going to be doing something saying now CM Punk is still injured, so shouldn't be changing places da, 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 to set up for a big uh, main event on a pay per view. So that's the way I see it. Uh, that, that's happening. <laughs> like I said, still dealing with congestion. However, I want to talk about real quick um, my sponsor. Uh, which is Debbie.gg. It is a gaming energy drink. The unif they unified it, but you know, CM Punk will have like a rematch basically and be like, hey, I want my shot back when I'm 100%. <clears throat> so W.gg, they do uh, uh, different uh, original flavors and it's a powder and it's in a container about, say, this big, about that big around. And you can get, um, I want to say, <laughs> around 50 uh, drinks out of it, each each container. It's a powder, you pour it, you mix it, and all that stuff. Um, but it doesn't have the sugar or different like sugar alternatives in there, so when it wears off, you don't get that sugar crash, which is awesome. And besides that, you also, uh, it has a couple other, uh, not hallucinogens, I forget what the other term is, but they have powders and stuff in, in there that helps uh, support brain health and helps to up your brain, your awareness, your memory, and stuff like that. Um, and so far, I haven't seen any any kind of bad uh, um, issues people have had. I've seen a ton of people uh, that has checked it out online. Um, it is called uh, Debbie. 
Uh, the website is w.gg. Thank you very much, Master Hooks. And if you go there, you can check out their store. They have anything from the drink powders to tumblers with the little things in so you can shake them up, as well as even stickers and stuff, and t-shirts and hoodies and all that stuff. But if you look right here, over there, that's moving by. That is the code. If you make any purchases on there, when you are in checkout, you put VRATLOCK in all caps in the promotional code area, and they will give you 10% off your entire purchase. That's awesome. And that's one of the great ways of supporting me and what I'm doing here is by going there and actually giving them a business. Even if you go on there and you just buy a $7 pack of stickers, they, they see it, especially when they see my code pop up and they go, hey, and Master Hook's such, so nice, he put it down twice, w.gg. So that uh, is my main sponsor. So definitely go check them out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just look into it and stuff. They have the entire list and the, the FAQs and all that stuff talking about uh, what they do and what their stuff is. Um, so I can't wait. I'm supposed to be getting a uh, Dove Slime coming in, which is a Granny Smith apple mixed with a, um, like a, uh, somebody, I had one person I've heard compare it to like bubblegum flavor. I've had another person compare it to the filling of a Twinkie. So, hey, I like both of those. Well, now that, that, that out of the way, another thing I'd like to talk about uh, with Jensky 212 here. 2012 here. Um, she has a wonderful son uh, named Skyler, big fan of mine, and I'm a big fan of his. And he is doing a fundraiser. And uh, he's doing, um, if you want to type out and put in the comments the kind of fundraiser he is having, um, the goal is uh, for him to get either 150 to somewhere between 150 and 200 dollars um, in uh, pledges. I believe for the fundraiser, he's currently at seventy dollars, and um, they are accepting things through. They're accepting uh, donations through the PayPal. So if you want to put the PayPal down there too, uh, so that anybody live will see it, as well as anybody that is watching this in the next week or two, uh, they can see that information and uh, they can donate and help out with the charity. So. Um, Jensky, if you want to put all that information in the comments section, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, Skylar's a wonderful kid, and uh, I I hope he uh, reaches um, his goal for the uh, fundraiser. So <clears throat> now, uh, with me mentioning that, um, I am getting ready with my other phone to get set up because we're going to be doing some painting. That's right, the joy of painting with Bratlock. <clears throat> I have six different items up. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to get my stream right on here. Yes. Yes. Enter the studio. Ah, tonight's impact. I don't I, I don't I don't uh pay attention too much to impact, so but by all means chime in and give us a... oh you signed up for the YouTube membership. Okay. But yeah, uh, chime in and let us know what's going on. I love I love getting uh, the 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 feed. Master Hooks is uh, my my eye on wrestling sports, giving us the feed of matches and and results and stuff as it goes. Yes, I want to give it permission. So. Painting. There's everything. Holy sweet. Turn that down. Okay. I was I wasn't ready for that. Oh wait, stop it. Stop it. Oh, there we go. He's doing a color run and all the money goes to the school to help his class. It's a special needs class and it will get them all the supplies they can use. PayPal. The PayPal email to send to you interested is jasperdowns at gmail.com. Awesome. Maybe I need to gotta kind of mute one of these guys. There, you're muted. Or should I mute the other one? Yeah, one? There we go. I hope you all can still hear me well. That happens to me always. I have to turn my phone sound down. Yep. All right, so let's get this set up here. I still hit the red button, which you see me do from time to time. 
Right, so if you'll see, I have this list right here. These are the six characters that I already the ink hasn't settled yet. Um, I have six different names that I let a, this dice choose. So tonight I'm either going to be painting Zodiac Hero. The other option is Danhausen. Then there's Kane with the mask, Gold Dust, Mankind, and because I'm an extremely vain person, Redlock. So here we go. There, there, there you go. That's that's the list. Right there. Oh, there you go. Center. Boom. So that's who it is. I'm not changing numbers or anything like that. So I have a six sided die, and whatever I roll is what will be choosing. One Zodiac, two Danhausen, three Kane with the mask. Four gold dust, five mankind, six ratlock. So, Master Hooks, this is going to be painting for the night. Have the dice right here. Put it in here. Here we go. Looks like I'm doing gold dust tonight. So there you go, Master Hux. I'll be doing a gold dust uh, painting in my style. Just this. We have the fun. So there you have it. So I will be painting gold dust tonight. Uh, hopefully I have a little paint. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to be doing Remember Jennifer Downs at gmail.com. If you want to do a color run. So the first thing I'm gonna do is blot all this out, make this like this has a nice texture too. I think you're gonna enjoy this when it gets done. So <laughs> coughing. Coughing Coffee's terrible. Shake this up. You're gonna find out when I do like portraits, pop culture portraits, and stuff like this. I do a lot of different methods, different paints, and everything like that. Um, so hold on to your butts. As Samuel Jackson would say in uh, Jurassic Park. So here we go. Turn it off. Should have known this would happen. No surprise. Here we go. Perfect timing. The internet dropped. So I'm now in the hot spot. Okay, so this white doesn't feel like it's doing much, but that's fine. Shouldn't be doing it using the white anyway. Some black down on it. Let's see. But which I can
Right. So now I uh, have to jump up drying process. So I'm going to do here with this heat gun. Be at the revolver show, cool. cool. Very cool indeed. Is that always happens? Uh, I'm nervous. Your oh, so hello. here. I hope you're doing well tonight. So, we started the place on the, uh, the painting I'm doing tonight. Hours, yeah. I can understand that. I'm doing my best. Uh, first off, Master Hook says hello, Mother Ratlock. Nice. Oh my god, you found that? I I understand. I am choppy because right now I have no regular internet right now because Xfinity is terrible service. I deal with what I can. Hopefully, uh, but that is awesome. So when I went to prom, I went to prom one year. Go it. Okay. So I went to. I only went to prom once. In high school, my junior year. Uh, my mother, for my tuxedo, she made me. Uh, they had the WWF Attitude. Um, WWF Attitude fabric. And my mother bought some fabric and she made me a tuxedo vest and bow tie. Now, needless to say, the tie, the, the, the vest does not fit. In fact, she found it. That is awesome. I'm so sorry, Master Hooks. used to self me. I knew uh, another uh, Johnny Tsunami. A uh, good referee and old wrestler. Uh, he used to be a, a fan of as well. So. I like the, uh, it's got, it's giving it a very cracked uh, look. Yes, the, the, the WWE Attitude logo of Blue in the Dark as well. That is so cool that you found that. I definitely need to, I'll have to show that off in one of these shows. No, um, Jensky asked, am I going to be doing another wrestling show? Here is the main issue with me getting another wrestling show out of the way. First off, um, I lost my uh, financial backer. Yes, I did wear a top hat. Uh, because after that last show had happened, uh, some people that said some basically made up some rumors and said them some things basically said some falsehoods about me some lies and whatnot because of that it made my financial backer afraid and they pulled out 
of doing another show with me. They basically said, these people have a higher standard, a higher standing than you. More people listen to them. They said this stuff about you. That makes us nervous. So we're pulling out. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be affiliated with you either because they have a problem with you and they're, they're so it's, okay, fine. So I lost them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wrestling. People are gonna say about other promotions and other wrestlers to get themselves over. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm not that kind of a person, so let them say what they want. Um, so I'm currently talking with another financial backer, but now the main issue is our venue, uh, where we had before, uh, and had a whole lot going on inside. But now because we started feeling that kind of you're very likely to be a different program. Uh, what the situation is going on now is they get in popularity. People want to get up there. They are a hotel, training center, and more martial arts groups are now going to hold stuff there, which is awesome. But because of that, not too inclined to have a my show there. So that's putting a damper on things. Uh, I want. We are planning a show in October. Uh, that was because everybody made fun of how vain I was when we hit the red light for the show. I decided I was going to call it the October show. It's out. Uh, I already announced one match for it, which is going to be Brain Profit, one on one against the Harbor for the ZPW Board for Championship. But as of right now, I have a financial backer that told me he was going to help out. Uh, I just have to, he told me that I get to be like that. Yeah. That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. But if I was to completely upset, sorry, sorry. if I was to completely quit, wrap up with those people that why should they even despite making these stuff up about? So yes, I am uh, still getting getting a show. So that shows that we're gonna have uh, Dojo Master Perfect. Let's see uh can I no. It's not a ring, it's not a ring, but it is a wrestling mess set up. It's not a good match, but it's where we were wrestling. It did things more to striking and grappling and submissions. And we're going to have eight, eight wrestlers. And they're going to do single one. Okay. But yeah, that's the master of 2020. That was exciting, but I have these plans. Just have to finally get the venue and say, okay, let's do this. And so, back to S, let me know. Yeah, I'm ready. So, those are the two things I'm waiting on right now. So, fingers crossed it'll happen sooner than later. Okay, so we got the black base coat done. That's his gold dust. So, what's one of the main, what's the main color he has on his face? Say, Teal, I'm going to slap you. Oh, so. I have somewhere. <laughs> there we go. I have this liquid leaf, classic book. Okay. Mix a bit of mix. Still got a lot of mucus filled up. I appreciate that Master Hunt. Just thank you very much. I do hope to bounce back. Sir, let see. This is what he said. Well, um, but yes, I... You see how he did the character? Well, he did it. Uh, 
see if it's freezing. It's freezing. Yes, it froze. Better be here. Now, come back to me. Keeps happening. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, it's okay. I've shaken up the gold enough. Yes, mucus. That's right. Why well, I was taught at a very young age. Don't swallow it. Pop it up. Spit it out. So, here we go. The entire gold. It's very rustic gold. It's classic gold, is what it's called. So it's not a bright gold. I, I love and see that's one of the things when people were trying to tell me they gotta remember back in the day when I first started Telling me there's no pro wrestling is not it has to have a ring. You cannot have a wrestling match with no ring. And one of the first things I told him was, "What about the Hollywood backlot match between Rowdy Piper and Goldust?" Like, how dare you? <laughs> uh, boiler room match. Mankind versus Undertaker. The people forget about that one. That was absolutely one of my favorites. So, well, show it off. If anybody does plan on going October 1st, Franklin and Neon, South by Toys of War, Nick Foley's going to be there doing autograph and frontal lops. And if the VIP package you get to get a picture with him, he's going to dress up as all three of his characters. Jack is Jack. Man, uh, and uh, um, I am going to be, be doing a little bit of some uh, uh, that I may have available. Uh, I know I, the next coming weeks, I'm just right here to draw it out. We'll be doing a, a mankind hockey mask. So that'll be fun. I may be working at the, uh, the area that day, too, providing security and stuff like that. So that'd be fun. On top. Oh, I got that gold plate down all the way up. Another gold on top. This is a brighter gold. Make sure I hit it. I know I got a, uh, oh, my wife is so wonderful. My wife is so wonderful. Let's give a hand to our wife, right? Because we we'll put some of uh, uh, flowers, put some flowers in the chat for, uh, for, for my wife because she's so awesome. And uh, he got me today at Five Below. It's for $5.95. Hey, we love hot vinyl. So that was awesome. Just, it was basically just 
in case I'm not able to get the Mankind or Mick Foley artwork done in time, she got that for me. And so I can have something autographed by him. So yeah, if you want to put some flowers in the chat with comments uh, for Mrs. Ratlock, just let her know that we're talking about her, we're thinking about her, and we're happy for her. She's also tested uh, negative for COVID, so that's awesome too. Thank you very much, Matt. Mr. Hugs. Skull Mortars here. Hello, Skull Mortar. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Matt's Hugs throwing flowers to Mrs. Ratlock. Oh, sweet you, Maggie. Yes, it is. I got a negative reading on my phone today. So, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling better, too. Because I know you can feel it for the second time around. I know what I do like the second time. I saw ooh, if you guys as we're there for people you know, with wrestling. Talked to him about it. Got the stuff. Bone words got uh, good. Got him yeah, um, got together with wrestling and they are doing some awesome replica belts of the wrestler uh thing title belt and it looks so good. I think it may it may have like maybe the only way you'll see the action is to dress like belts. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll turn this back on real quick. Try to dry this out a little bit. And it's fun too, because I'm, I'm wanting to have a theme uh, for bulk time this year. And my prints that I'm doing, and I'm actually using um, an AI program. And I'm going to be doing special prints based on what, what I tell this AI, AI can make the images. In fact, if you've seen some of my advertisements on Facebook, the backgrounds of my flyers for the show is uh, the AI and what I've been telling it to make. And it's really cool. It's really tricky, I guess. You know, because you can get a simple, let's say, uh, this, or you can give it a fair description and it will use the information you get. It'll go through the internet database and just look up all these images that you've discussed. And from all of that, it will then design it on its own. It's so cool. Now here's my question. It's, this is your painting, Master Hut. Do you want to see it painted like this? Or do you want me to put the face on like this? How would you like it? Diamond style or just straight up square? Yes, I do know that the sound is messed up. I, I've lost regular internet. Well, it's, it's Y'all trying to force Master Hux. This, this is Master Hux painting. He's the one that won the competition. All right. Y'all said that's talking for Master Hux. All right, we'll do that. That would be Diamond. That's the plan. Try this one more time. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to pop off and come back on. More than likely. You're going to see me freeze. But you'll see this. Over here, because they, they still don't have internet back. It's terrible. Oh, so the internet is back. Very well. Okay, diamond. So we're gonna go diamond. Diamond bright, like a diamond. 
So, black paint. Just right here again. Okay, here you go. Boom, black paint. Well, take it. Thank you very much, Simon. That fun for that wonderful uh, information about quilting. Oh, it makes really awesome quilts. I was telling a story today. Said this in the other family on my wife's side. My my mother does awesome quilts. But they are on point as well. Um, there's this one quilt though. When she lived back, back in Fairland. Huh. Made a quilt that was large enough to cover the front of our garage, which our garage didn't kind of bore time. And I thought it was. And I was complimenting her profusely about it. And I was like, how, how in the world did you have that much time to make a quilt that large? And we're talking the quilt was like 12 feet by 8 feet. This is the quilt we call the cheater quilt. <laughs> And it's because she found, I forget where, what she was shopping at, but she found, um, she found pillowcases that had a quilt design on it. So she bought all the pillowcases up, sewed them together. <laughs> and I thought it was like, oh, she made from scratch. So <laughs> that's, that's the cheater quilt, as we call it. So there we go. Okay, so we're gonna do like a basic, a uh, gold design where eyes are dark and then the lips are done up. Kind of like uh, the drizzle effect that you had a couple times where it looked like the black was oozing out of the eye. It's the forehead, mouth, and whatnot. So, still very hot. Okay, here we go. You guys here and here. And if I have some time, I may actually throw some uh, uh, some extra color in here for the blonde wig you wear. I remember during that time when Marlon Manson was really popular, but I switched over to that where he was doing kind of like a, a Manson style with this gimmick. Although I was, a real, I was a big fan of Stardust. I know I shouldn't have been. <laughs> Even if he didn't like it, I like Stardust. I, I thought Stardust was hilarious because it was giving gold dust around towards night. <laughs> so we got the lips right there. I did. I really like Stardust. Do you still have that uh, that TT face I painted on that knee board? A little surfboard, blade board, whatever you want to call it. That was a fun one.
You guys don't know yet. This is a uh, song is called Monster is in Your Head. It's done by my old music group, The Saint Asylum. You can catch this on if you're interested. It's, it's, it's got a free download on Band. I'll be done with this and only a few few like diehard wrestling fans will see this again. I'm like, you know, that's that's gold dust, isn't it? Actually, yes. I'm uh, We're going to be watching some of the worst up. We're going to be watching two episodes. A very good friend of mine. Uh, he goes by Spooky Percy. And he has a series on YouTube called Tales. And that's true. Uh, it's not cryptid, it's just stuff like that. And I watched uh, two episodes of his stuff. It's going to be wonderful. And he, he does such a great job. Uh, like he himself, I've told him multiple times the way he carries himself, he should be more than And so, I haven't. Uh, but no, uh, so we will be watching uh, one or two episodes of Tales of Midnight. This Saturday on, on the screen, 8 15 p.m. for you. So, yes, definitely see you there for that. And as you see those episodes, you'll be running to Spooky Thursday's Tales of Midnight. So, I have both Go Dream World regular and Zero Sugar. I told myself when I was feeling better, I would finally film and do the tasting of it. I have heard it all. Sorry. I don't know if I'm up to party tonight to film and put it on YouTube. But, hey, I'm not How are you doing? It's good to have you on here. I'm currently painting gold dust. Is this better? Oh, that is nasty. <sighs> is it better now? Because now I'm listening to it. It's coming through the speaker and it's going. Brrr. Holy 
cow. I didn't realize it was that bad. Anywho. <laughs> Neon Navajo is here. Neon Navajo is awesome. He's got his own streaming channel too. So if you can, if you have a chance, click on Neon Navajo. Watch his stuff. He's awesome as well. I am doing the I'm currently uh, painting gold dust. And I got this portion of it finished. Let me hit it with the heat gun real quick. I'm getting ready to add in the hair. Yes, the hair. Because remember, he used to come out wearing that blonde wig, so that's what we're going to do. I need to find the proper paint, though. See what I can do with this. You guys like what you're seeing and enjoying the stream? I always, uh, I always like to welcome bits and subs. So, just like Master Hooks already did, he was awesome. He started the started the night off with ten bits. It made me so happy. Okay. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. See, that's the problem with the stream yard. The stream yard doesn't tell me when a sub gets gifted. I hate that. But thank you very much for gifting the sub. A little more yellow. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is giving it the middle part. Alright. Here we go. It's more of a harder bristled brush.
I almost forgot. Goldust has bangs. Besides the long hair. So you scholars enjoying school for that is great. I am happy to hear that he's enjoying school. Many Vinny's enjoying school as well. Uh, he, as a matter of fact, sometimes Mrs. Ratlock gets a little upset because he cannot wait to go. Even when he gets home, he's like, I want to go back to school. So it's always awesome when the child enjoys their curriculum. So we got the long hairs are going to be all here on the sides. Just get that on there. Now, if you're wondering what I was doing with that little metal hook, I was putting some uh, detail into it, carving back into the paint as it's drying to give it uh, you know, looks of the separation of the hair. Which I'm going to do with this. At the high school, and you wish you had one teacher again versus 20? I, yes. Yes, and you guys did a great job prepping him for school. Yes, he is. Thank you very much. as many right like he just turned five uh, in June and he is almost four feet tall his brother uh, Jace the other mini Vinny is going to be 11 this year I hate getting their ages wrong <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. I heard about that, the shooting. They said it was they said it was an actual planned attack. He was targeted. I'm so sorry that happened. Yeah, six one. You're, you're I have a feeling I have a feeling he's gonna be probably six four, six five before he's done growing. Did he know did he know the the kid that was shot. 
I may be asking. I may be out of line for asking that. <clears throat> Use some of this blue. All right. <clears throat> there. Yeah. Yeah, no, our, our school, well, it didn't happen everywhere, but, you know, we, we had Columbine happen. And I remember because when Columbine happened, I, my choice in wearing... And coats were long leather coats, and, and my coat barely went past my hips, but they still considered me to be that kind of a person. It was terrible. But uh, here you go. There we go. We have it finished. There it is, the gold dust uh, painting. And there's the blonde. You can see the definition put in. That's terrible, though, when it happens. So there you go, Master Hooks. As soon as this is fully dry, I'll be signing it. And it will be coming to you along with the decals, the specimen. God knows what this thing is. And uh, the uh, drawing, the sketch that I did. Yeah, so you're getting classified. We got typed. I got, I got stereotyped. Because I... Although I wore very flamboyant clothes. I had pants that glue in the dark. Two pairs of pants that glue in the dark. I wore I wore shiny floral shirts. I, I wore I wore shirt other shirts underneath of it that had like Ace Ventura quotes on it. So there you go. I hope you enjoy this painting. It'll be coming along with all the other stuff that you've gotten. We did not do a uh, contest this week, but we'll be starting another one for next week. Just a fun, simple contest. And I need to find a place to let this dry. Uh, right here should be good. Perfect. <clears throat> now, I think we have time. Got this bad boy right here. I don't need you right now. Remove. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, now we're going to get to the other fun portion. Um, if you know me, you know that I like rings. This is what I just got today. This guy right here. Check that out. This is an awesome Frankenstein. It's not how it was photographed, but I'll be fixing that. Boom. I love it. Look how big honking that thing is. This is my pinky. This is a size 13. This is my pinky. It's how sausage-like my fingers are. But I have this guy right here. Oh, it's gone. Here, hold on. Ah, ah. So, I have this ring right here. It is a size 14. Boom. Nice Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees ring. And if you look, I have some stuff bought. It's because this ring is going to be going to none other than Brandon Profit for winning the Omega 13 Royale. Uh, Downs, you were there. Jensky, you were at that show. It was the main event. And um, I told him I would be getting him an awesome ring custom made and I lost all of my engraving tools but I just finally got them all back well I had to order more so I have them right here and I will be getting that set up now well, let's do some let's do some engraving let's make an official championship ring shall we 
No. There we go. So. I have the Omega-13 symbol uh, with the date. It's going to say profit along the bottom of the ring right here. And then I have the promotion letters. So. And here is my tools. Go with this guy. Supposedly, they say that this is sharp enough to carve into uh, steel, which this is a supposedly a surgical steel. So let's hope that's what it does. For you guys that hate loud drilling noises, I'm very sorry. You might want to turn down your your uh, listening apparatus, or if you like ASMR, enjoy. So there we go with that so far. Well. Try to get it better. There's DPW on it. Let's go with this part.
Sorry about the quiet. <laughs> I'm like, I really don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Got name. There's the logo. I put the little X mark at the top. And then so we're gonna give this a quick, quick treatment. Here. Let me know if you guys are still here or if I'm just talking to myself. Let's it show up a little bit. Buffing wheel. I don't remember where I put it. Isn't that how I always have?
I know uh, if you come out to uh, uh, Vol Volcon in October, we will have a. Uh, I'll have plenty of uh, Jason masks there. We're actually using suede right now to darken it. Alright. Very nice. Uh, we'll have to. Yes, definitely. Voltcon is going to be on uh, October eighth and 9th. It's going to be up in Indianapolis. If you like Voltron, if you like GI Joe, uh, Transformers, any kind of eighties pop culture, that is going to be the place to be on those two days. And I have a, an artist booth there. <clears throat> so I can't wait. It's going to be fun. I had to miss last year. My wife broke her foot, so it wouldn't be nice of me to just still smearing some. I keep putting a couple coats in there just to make sure it gets completely covered. Because not only is uh, he getting one, but uh, Matt Vengeance is getting one too. He won the first ever Omega 13, which was in 2006. Oh, congratulations. Who are you, who are you having uh, do the ceremony? You know, I am ordained. Anyway. All right, so there we have it. The Brandon Prophet ring. You know what? Let me just bring this down. Let's set this up. Rah! So here we go. It's so choppy. There's the Omega 13. There's the ZPW. And right there. Profit. I'll be doing a little bit more uh, into it just to uh, smooth all the lettering and stuff and probably recolor it again. But that was awesome. That is done. So, go away. All right. That is done. I wasn't going to charge. I would have I would have married you guys for free. Come on. What kind of a what kind of a mad scientist do you think I am? No, you're right. <laughs> but I that was that was awesome. Um once again, Got the gold dust uh, painting going out uh, hopefully next next week to Master Hooks along with all the other stuff you want. Got the ring pretty much finished. The Omega 13 ring finished for uh, Brandon Profit. Uh, awesome. Once again, um, Jensky 2012, if you can put the link up again. Uh, before we go, talking about the fundraiser Skylar's doing, I would love for you to post that one more time. Uh, he's doing a color run, and uh, the goal is to hit between $150 and $200 in donations for that fundraiser. They're at $70 right now. I would love to see them hit <clears throat> their, their goal. And you guys all being here, you guys are so awesome. Uh, gotta, I got to give it to all you all. Um, 
Master Hooks, thank you very much. Neon Navajo, awesome. So not fun. Thank you very much. Peace be with you, Master Hooks. Jensky, first time here. Um, and everybody, I had an awesome time. And there it is right there. The email is jenniferdowns at gmail.com. If you want to donate to, to the fundraiser, you can send it to their PayPal. They'll transfer it over to the fundraiser um, on the day. All the money gets to go towards a special needs class. So thank you guys all for being here. Like I said, this Saturday, we're going to be watching two episodes of Tales of Midnight with Spooky Brucey. And that's going to be awesome. Maybe I might even be able to have him on and interview him. That would be awesome if I could do that. Uh, if not, we'll watch it and then we'll try to have him on at a, a different time. So just remember... Um, everything coming up and then Monday we're going to have a brand new competition um, and it, 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 we're, it's going to be fun you know I like doing fun things you got a painting decals and all kinds of stuff so I'm here Mondays Wednesdays Thursdays and every other Saturday 8 15 p.m. you can check me out on all those remember to get on w.bb uh, buy some stuff there code right there vratlock to get 10% off your entire purchase which is awesome. Thank you guys very much for being here. I appreciate it. Every night I do these streams when I see you guys. It makes me feel so good. Hopefully this isn't the last we've seen of Downs, Jensky 2012. Hopefully I'll be seeing you again more often, especially this Saturday. We're going to be watching horror stuff. So you get everybody together and enjoy that. <clears throat> but that wasn't just you guys watching me. This wasn't just uh, Jensky popping on and helping out her son and this wasn't just Master Hooks. Peace being with everybody. This wasn't just me making a painting for Master Hooks or this awesome ring for uh, Brandon Prophet. This wasn't just me plugging once again another night for uh, VoltCon. This this and my mom was here. Science. 